Ashlyn used to sneak out through the window, and now she just leaves. I've gone into her room at 5 a.m. This is her room, and she's not here. We don't know where she is. Sometimes Ashlyn stays out for days at a time. Okay, so I'm sorry if I just cussed my mom out and left for a whole day. When I came back, I wouldn't have as much relevance as a religious father that just disowned his son because he's gay. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a nightmare child on Dr. Phil that basically made her parents' life terrible. Ashlyn used to sneak out through the window and now she just leaves. I've gone into her room at 5 a.m. This is her room. and she all right, so I really don't understand how kids get away with this stuff. I mean, I know I showed this in the intro, but, like, if I snuck out of the window, even if my parents were asleep, they would have found out somehow. Like, it, it, have you guys ever lied and somehow, mysteriously, your parents find out? Like, I have no idea how they do, but they do. Like, I have no idea. Ashlyn no longer is attending school and just recently was kicked out of a homeschooling program. You're not going to class. <laughs> okay, so the reason I'm laughing right now is how can you get kicked out of a homeschooling program? I mean, did, would your teacher, a.k.a. your mom, bring you up to the principal, a.k.a. your father, and be like, excuse me, principal? Um, yes, Ashlyn kind of threw a desk at me, so could you please kick her out? Like, it's a homeschooling program. How do you possibly get kicked out unless you're that terrible of a child that your parents can't even teach you One anything? Time she got physically violent and punched me in the stomach. Like, I know your child is terrible and all, but you know you can call the police because you're saying she's been, like, leaving for days at a time. And after 24 hours, you can call the police and report her missing. Because after 24 hours, she's not just being a kid that got mad at her parents and run or, and is running away. Because you would come back by then. It's a kid that's actually full on running away or doing something like that. Like, you can call the police and you don't have to go on the Dr. Phil show and be like, Oh my god, my child is so terrible. Do something else about it. I mean, you don't have to ask freaking Dr. Phil. One time, she got physically violent and punched me in the stomach and slapped me in the face. Another time, Ashlyn started throwing furniture. I had to actually Okay, I'm sorry, but I think she's watching too much WWE. She needs to try out for it because she's literally punching her mom in the stomach and throwing couches and furniture across the room. Like, I'm sorry, but I, when you look at her... You don't think of her as a devil that's throwing couches across the freaking room. My husband and I decided to send her to a church academy boot camp. We told her it was a really good boarding school in Florida. She was at the boot camp almost 17 months. Okay, I'm not Ashlyn trying to defend Ashlyn now. because she's literally a devil. But you told her she's going to a nice, you know, boarding school that she probably wasn't too happy about, but at least it wasn't a freaking religious military school. But, hmm, it actually turned out to be that. I mean, at least tell her, like, she's still going to go. So you got to understand why she might be just a little mad at you. Also, that might be why she doesn't think of you guys as trustworthy and instead wants to become a WWE performer whenever she sees you. We were driving home. She asked to go somewhere. I told her she couldn't. She started raging and she punched me in my face. Punch her back or call the police instead of doing something other than calling your husband and crying about it. I called Troy. I did not call the police. We got home and she left. We didn't really punish her after that and she did keep the clothes. We've taken things away from her. We told her she's grounded. It doesn't do any good with her. We used to turn Ashlyn's cell phone off, but the house just becomes chaos. She screams, yells, pushes, gets very violent. Okay, so at this point, I just think it's honestly the parents' fault because 
when she was younger, they could have disciplined her more to at least be a little bit better. But they had to probably be soft and make her like this. And if this is how our society is going to be in the next generation of human beings that are going to keep this earth going, I'm really worried. The truancy officer basically told us that we're not doing our job. Finally, someone actually has common sense. It's the parents' fault that she's like this. Now, yes, she can still change, but it's their fault that they let this develop at an early age. Alright, guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. This is my first time doing one of these types of videos. Tell me, you guys, in the comments if you guys like these kind of videos. It was pretty fun to edit. It took... A long time my longest video to edit it took me four and a half hours because I've been adding pictures and you know voiceovers and everything but I think it's worth it pretty good video I think and yeah guys thank you guys all for watching and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video tell me in the comments what you guys want that to be Goodbye. Goodbye.